What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to take a look at questions involving interior and exterior angles of polygons. So we have this question here. We have parallelogram Fred, and ED is extended, and the first useful information we have is that AF is congruent to DF. So we're going to mark these as equal, and this is an isosceles triangle, which means these base angles here are going to be equal as well. So we're told the measure of angle R is 124 degrees, but one property we need to know about parallelograms is that opposite angles are equal. So this angle down here also has to be 124 degrees because it's opposite of angle R. And now we could use the fact that on a straight line we have 180 degrees. So if we already have 124, we subtract that from 180. And when we subtract, we could borrow here. We're going to have 56 degrees left. So this is going to be a 56 degree angle. But because this triangle is isosceles, this angle is also 56 degrees. So now we could just multiply that by 2, 56 degrees times 2, that's going to give us 112 degrees. So the missing angle at the top, angle AFD, which I'll just mark with X, is going to be 180 minus 112. So now we just do the subtraction here, and this is going to work out to 68 degrees. So 68 degrees is going to match up with choice 3. So we have another question with the parallelogram here, and this time around we have the measure of angle S is 60 degrees. We have the measure of angle SRT that's over here is 83 degrees and we have the measure of angle TWU is 35 degrees so this angle in here is 35 degrees and we want to find the measure of angle WVQ that's this angle over here so I'll just put an X in this location so there's a few ways we could go forward with this but this is a parallelogram so we know that these opposite sides are going to be parallel so now we just think about what information can we figure out here? Well, we know that vertical angles are congruent. So this angle here, VWR, we could also label as 35 degrees. And now we have to look for some other angles that we could find. And one of the tricks that we could use here is that on a straight line, we have 180 degrees. So if we do 180 minus 35, that's going to make 145. So this missing angle over here is 145 degrees. And what else we know is that in a quadrilateral, there's 360 degrees. So if we add up 145 plus 83 plus 60, this missing angle over here, I'll just call it Y for a moment, has to make 360. So I'm going to add up the three angles so far in this quadrilateral. And if we add these up, so we just have 8, and then 12 plus 6 is 18. We carry the 1. We have 288 degrees. So do 360 minus 288. That's going to tell us one of the missing angles. So we borrow here to make a 5. And when we complete the subtraction, this missing angle up here is going to be 72 degrees. So this is a 72 degree angle. But notice what we have here. This 72 degree angle is alternate interior to this angle over here. Notice that Z shape because we have a parallelogram. So this missing angle here, WVQ, is going to be equal to 72 degrees. So another parallelogram here, this time around we have angle B is 75 degrees, and we have these two lines drawn in our angle bisectors. So this opposite angle ADC is also 75, but if we divide 75 by 2, that's 37 and a half. So these two angles here are both 37.5. Now some other information we could fill in here is that consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. So that means that the measure of angle A would be 180 minus 75, which would be 105 degrees. So we could write that in. And once again, this angle is being bisected. So we just do 105 divided by 2, which is 52 and a half. So these two angles over here are 52 and a half degrees. And now think about what is the question actually answering or asking for is the measure of angle EFA. So that's this angle over here. So to find this angle, there's a few ways we could go forward with this. But notice we have another alternate interior angle here. We have this Z shape here. So if this angle is 52 and a half degrees, then this angle is 52 and a half degrees. So the measure of angle EFA is going to be 180 minus 52.5. And we'll put a point zero here. So when we subtract, it works out. So we borrow, make a 7. And we borrow here, make this into a 9. 10 minus 5 is 5. This is 7. 
and this is 2, this is 1, so the missing angle would be 127 and a half degrees. All right, so the last one here is a bit of a beast, but we have a parallelogram and a rhombus adjacent to each other. And what we have so far is the measure of angle B is 118 degrees. We also have here the measure of angle AHC is 138 degrees. So with this, we have to determine and state the measure of angle GFH, which is this angle down here, which I'll label with an X. So what we have to make use of here is that these four sides are all parallel. And these three sides here are parallel. So this might help us out here at some point. So to find the measure of this angle, the first one that's most obvious that jumps out at me is angle GHF. If we do 180 minus 138, this is going to work out to 42. So this missing angle here would be 42 degrees. And the next thing I would want to be able to find is what is the measure of this angle over here? So I go looking for it. And one thing that stands out at me is because these lines are parallel, we could draw in an alternate interior angle like this and say, okay, well, if we find the measure of this angle, that'll tell us the measure of angle FGH. But notice opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. So this angle here has to be 118 degrees, which means this angle over here has to also be 118 degrees. So the measure of angle X is going to be 180 minus the sum of those two angles. So we could just do 118 plus 42. And this is going to work out to 160 and now we have two angles in a triangle the third angle has to make 180 so we have to do 180 minus 60 and that's going to give us 20 so the measure of angle GFH is equal to 20 degrees okay well this is going to wrap up this video on interior and exterior angles of polygons if this video was helpful please like and subscribe it really helps me grow the channel and if you got any requests just leave the topics you want me to cover in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.